Lisa was upset. No, I wasn't upset. I really wasn't, no. In the moment, so oh, yeah. let her be honest. Oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I wasn't upset, okay. Trust me. Okay, so okay. to give it to us. She comes over. Okay. And she was so excited. But I really wanted to dance with that. Okay, can I speak, please? Yes. Thank yes. you very much. She comes over and she comes running over and I saw her run over to the table and then she says to me, where did everyone go? Jen, Jen, no, are we split out now? Okay. Is that all right? Yes, it is. Let's go, let's just sneak out. She goes, I could dance now. Everything's off, my mics are off, the cameras are done, I could dance. Yeah, I wanted to and dance And she with turns them. to me and I told her they had to leave and she was very upset and, she, and then she yelled at me for a minute. And I, what are you, I you did, yelled at me. You always yell at me sometimes. You're like, said something, I don't know. And I'm like, you want me to call her? It's like, I don't know, it's late, I don't know what to say. And no, my thing is if she didn't want to come, she shouldn't And came. I didn't have an answer. I was just like, I don't know. I celebrated her. I watched her get married. I watched her walk down the aisle. I stayed at the cocktail. I got to see her. She looked beautiful. I got to speak with her. But I can't dance the night away and enjoy myself the whole night while Melissa and Joe aren't there, you know what I mean? This is Joe's sister. Everyone I feel like was thinking that. All I could think of, we're all here. And they're not. So how could I feel as happy as we should? Knowing Melissa and Joe and the paparazzi were outside their beach house and everybody was talking about it. I wasn't gonna make this moment about me. It's not about me. And everybody's gonna comment, Margaret's dancing the night away while her friends are at home. I don't want that fodder. And not that anybody would focus on me at her wedding, but they don't need that talk about it. And they don't need the talk that I left early. I slipped out. So of course, I'm gonna give them a gift. I'm, I wanna celebrate them getting married, but I'm doing the best for both parties and that's it. I know me personally, I couldn't relax knowing how um, filled with angst Margaret was sitting next to me and like how sad Melissa was sitting home. Like I knew the other people who were like just filled with anxiety while this was going on. So that was a little like weighing heavy. Yeah. So I left with Margaret. No, you're driving me, so. I'm driving you home, so when I leave, you're gonna have to leave because I'm not gonna be like dancing and Listen, celebrating while my friend is say, suffering. I, I'm not happy with But I don't just... think you need to leave early just because of that. Margaret goes way back with Melissa and Joe. It's a little different, um, even though I love them. It was the wrong thing for me to do, right? To leave the wedding early? 100%. I told you that. I know you did. I didn't leave the wedding early. I, I love Melissa. I understand that, but I, in hindsight, like, it was just, I, I felt really, really badly about it. A wedding is like sacred. Yes, and you don't it go is. and you don't make a don't statement. Go. If you're not going to celebrate 100%. the person, then don't go. I would hope that Teresa would understand and not even care, just be like, listen, she came, she saw me get married, which was the most important part. It's not like I came not to the ceremony and just went to eat the food. I went to the ceremony, the most important part, to watch her get married. She came for a photo op, you know, to check out the epic wedding, because I know she didn't want to miss that out. And then Jeff Fester called me the next day to apologize. Jennifer, before Teresa's wedding, you apologized for sharing the rumor about Melissa cheating on Joe. For me, the type of person that I am, when I care about somebody, if I know that I did something wrong, I have to own it. I'm really sorry um, for telling Danielle about this cheating rumor with Melissa. And now, after everything that's happened, I feel like I played a part in, in them not wanting to come. I have to find my way in owning it. And I just wanted to apologize to say if I played any part in, in what the end result ended up being. She said sorry, but I was like, yeah. I'm like, they made their own decision. It just didn't feel right. It felt like it would be more of a circus if we went than if we didn't go. And I think we did them a favor by not going. Like, that's the thing. Why don't you blame Jen and Danielle, but they come at me? You called my husband over to your house by yourself? Get off of me. Get off of me. That I was in a car with a guy all by himself, and you thought he was to help me? Friend, what the hell's going on? See? Always at me, because why? I'm the sister. I'm the sister-in-law. Let's just keep beating up Teresa, because she's always going to take it, because family means everything to Teresa. So that's why, and I, I've always forgiven them, always. I have, because they know family means the world to me. But I'm done being trampled on. I'm done being treated like shit. So, bye Felicia. They made their decision. Yeah. I've been carrying a lot. It's a bit, you know, been, it's been over 10 years in 
Like, I'm done too. Mm -hmm. Everything, this is the way it was supposed to be. Like she said, like when we were at her house, like they were looking for ways to even disinvite them. They hate us, obviously. They don't, they're not happy with us. You think they hate yes. you? Yes. You're cutting them out then, that's it. You know what, like I did with my cousin Kathy? Done, like I'm done. It was like so weird. Neither party wanted them there at that point in time. So she was like, everything, is happening the way that it's supposed to happen. And then I didn't feel so bad, but I did feel relieved that at least I said my piece yeah. and now we could just dance the night away. So where do you all go from here with one another? Good question. The I mean, question of the hour. The hour? Question of the year. I don't know where anybody could go with Jennifer. I want you to take the light on that one. Oh, we're gonna hash it the f out. Well, next time it's we see each a, other, it's gonna be a I think that's crazy what's reunion. Happen. That's for sure. I think that's what's gonna happen. You're a devil. Oh you are a criminal, and so is he. Sleep with one eye open. You're nasty in your car. Don't take your insecurities out on me. My balls drag out the door. Out the door where you leave. It's madness. And there's obviously a divide. Yeah, we're a gonna big hash divide. It out. And you know, it's like sad because like even the people who you thought were neutral on this in this group have chosen sides. Yeah. Jennifer unfollowed everyone. Doesn't follow you, doesn't follow Margaret, doesn't follow me. Jen Fessler. Blocked us all, yeah. Jen Fessler, Jackie. We are all blocked. So she only likes Danielle and Teresa. You know, I'm fine with everyone except for Melissa. Like Melissa and I are not, we're done. Like we're not speaking, you know. I don't know where I go with Margaret because like, you know, she's like two-faced. You want the truth? I think Teresa and Louie have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, Pag Nancy, she just old. Oh, you old lady energy. I don't give two about that. I care about private investigators. They're coming out with receipts all over the internet. You know, they're just trying to dig their heels in. Instead of digging their heels in, why don't you just say, I don't know why I took this rumor seriously. I don't know why I tried to hurt your marriage. You, you know, that's pretty shit. I just want Melissa to see Teresa really you know, had nothing to do with that. I did it, but it came from a place of when we did me. it. No, I, we did it. We did it where it came from a place of Margaret saying this. You know, like not not that we was wanted always to expose point. your your rumor. Like just watch out for your friend over there. That's, all. That's it. Don't yeah. trust her so much. You were so devastated when people told the truth about you, and then you thought it was horrible that Teresa spread a rumor about Jackie. You know, she has a twisted way of thinking. Like even at BravoCon, we couldn't be in the same room together. So I think um, going into reunion, everyone is really on edge. Which is unfortunate since this is my first reunion. Yeah. I don't know what tomorrow brings with anybody. I know my constant is Teresa. We will always be friends. I think everybody should get along. We all have really good lives. There's a lot going on in this world that is a lot bigger than this shit.